Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another Game Force Ace video. Now, I have honestly mixed feelings about this device. I was a bit disappointed and frustrated when it came out. It was around a year from now and I think this device was rushed. If the dev waited more and made it ready as plug and play, this device had been really a success. Now as I mentioned, I have mixed feelings about this device. On one hand, I really love the 5.5 inch 1080p display, the 7400 milliamp battery as you see here at the back. And this is the 8 gig plus the 256 gigabyte storage. And of course, as I mentioned in my unboxing video, this has also the dual boot uh, option, Android Linux, because this is originally an Android device. But thank God, the Rocknix guys, my one of my favorite custom firmware from Linux, have made a build, very, very good build, as I'm showing in the video today. Huge thanks and heads up to the Rocknix guys for their awesome work. I'll include their wiki and their Discord server in the video description. So, um, so you have the option to boot into Linux as well. And I'll just show you a quick setup guide today. And this uh, device also has an M.2 SSD interface. So, you know, above all, I think it's a good device. But on the other hand, what I have the kind of the mixed feelings about it is that it has no longer support from the developer. So that means if you purchase this device, I'm not sure if it's still on sale, but I'll include the website, the GameForce uh, website. If you purchase it, you are pretty much on your own, which means there will be no support from the dev or from the seller. So you have to tweak it you have to tinker, you know, just think about it as a project. But on the other hand, as I mentioned, I love Linux handhelds, and I think by far this is the most powerful Linux chipset, which is the RK3588. And I was really waiting for an RK3588 device. And when this device came out around a year ago, the, the pre-order price was, I think it was about 160 US dollars, which was a really good deal. But nowadays, the retail price on the website, if it's still selling, is 230 US dollars. So, just you know, quickly to show you, I have the Rocknix installed, which I really and absolutely love. Uh, I'll just you know provide you a quick setup guide. It will be all in the video description as well. You can install the latest build from Rocknix, the wiki, I'll include it in the video description. Put it, copy it, burn it on an SD card using Balena Etcher or Rufus. I'm using Rufus personally, but both are fine. And then once you put it on the micro SD card on your PC, take out the micro SD card, put it in your device here and then try to navigate to tools and then when you click on tools there is an option here that says the second option after file manager let me just zoom it in it says install rocknix so if you click on it it will basically install rocknix from the sd card onto the internal storage of your device and then once you take it out and reboot Rocknix will, you know, boot up onto your device. And of course, as I mentioned, this is a beautiful Linux custom firmware. I have about 20,000 games on it, as you see here. You know, my favorite systems, starting from MAME, Atari, and this is a beautiful theme as well. I'll just quickly mention how to install extra themes. So just to go through the systems that I have, Atari 2600, Atari Jaguar, 
Use Box, Coleco Vision, Vic 20 or uh, Commodore C, you know, 64. I think this one is the Commodore 20 as well. Sega Amiga, Pico 8, Mattel in Television, Microsoft MSX, Microsoft MSX2. PC Engine, Tick 80, Nintendo Game and Watch, NES, Famicom as well, Super Nintendo SNES, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Panasonic 3DO, Sega 1000, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Sega Game Gear, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, Sharp, X68000, Sinclair, ZX Spectrum, Neo Geo, Neo Geo CD, Neo Geo Color, PlayStation, PS2, PSP, and of course this chipset, the RK3588, Handle it's the performance is similar to the Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, which is the Dimensity 1100. So it handles PS2 games, GameCube, Wii quite well. It's not super smooth, but it handles most of the titles or catalog from PS2, Wii, and GameCube. Just to give you an idea of how, how well the chipset performs. So, I think then we also have some ports, you can also install some ports, as you see here, you can play native old PC games, and then as I mentioned, I have about 20,000 games on this device, making it one of my best and powerful Linux handhelds. So when you want to copy your BIOS and game ROMs, I'm using the SFTP or SSH, which means I'm going wirelessly onto my device using my Wi-Fi network. And of course, uh, the steps will be in the video description. So you need to set up an SFTP session. I'm personally using WinSCP app. And then once you start the app, Make sure the device name is RK3588. Make sure the port number is set to 22. And then the username will be root, R -O, o T. And the password will be Rocknix, all lowercase letters. And then once you are Wi-Fi, once you are wirelessly inside your device, you can just navigate to the ROM folder in storage and then from the ROMs you will see all your game systems you can you know copy all your game ROMs that you have uh, it's worth mentioning if you want to add more themes because it has only one default theme in the system um, you can go to the wiki Rocknix wiki I'll put it in the video description of course and then you can download themes from Rocknix and as well as Barocera which is what I've done and you just go to the code on the page and then you download the zip file you unzip it and then all the contents of the zipped file you just copy it and put it in the themes folder which is within the roms folder as well so when you navigate into roms you will see all the game systems but there will be also a sub a subfolder named themes that's where all your themes go and then once you are there you can simply go to your uh, menu here as you see and then from menu you navigate to user interface and then the theme set you see these are all the themes I downloaded and of course with scraping box art this is almost basic on all Linux devices you just go to scraper and then you just you know create a username and password you know so these are all the systems that I have 
and then once you are in a scraper as I mentioned you need to create a username and password and then you just simply scrape all the missing box art that you need you can also scrape box art using your PC but I personally find it much easier to scrape from the device because it has Wi-Fi chipset as well so this was a quick uh, Rocknix setup guide on the Arc the Game Force Ace, which is an RK3588 device. As I mentioned, I turned I turned it into a beautiful um, Linux handheld, having 20,000 games, and you can play all the way from Atari until PS2, GameCube, and Wii. Okay, guys, I think that would be for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and always remember, we don't stop gaming because we grow old, we grow old because we stop gaming.